Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. There is a function u which is sin inverse of root x minus root y by root x plus root y. We will carry this sin inverse to the other side. So, it is going to become sin u and on the other side, we have the expression root x minus root y divided by root x plus root y. Let's take this as the function f. And let's write f as f of x comma y because this function is in terms of x and y. And we have to check whether it is homogeneous or not. For that, we have to replace x as tx, y as ty. So this is root tx minus root ty whole divided by root tx plus root ty then we will split into root t into root x minus root t into root y in the same way denominator root t into root x plus root t into root y we'll take the common terms in the numerator outside so root t is common so we left with root x minus root y even the denominator we we'll take root t common so root x plus root y. Now these two will get cancelled. This is power half, t power half, this is power half. When I carry this to the numerator, we left with t power half minus half. So it is t power 0 and the remaining term is nothing but f of x comma y. So from this it is clear that it is a homogeneous equation of degree 0. So it is a homogeneous function of degree n equal to 0. So, by Euler's theorem, we have x into dou f by dou x plus y into dou f by dou y equal to n f. In place of f, we can use sin u and in place of n, we have to substitute 0. So, x into dou by dou x of sin u plus y into dou by dou y of sin u equal to 0 into sin u which means 0 and here the differentiation of sin u is cos u so x into cos u by chain rule differentiation of u is dou u by dou x in the same way y into cos u into differentiation of u with respect to y is dou u by dou y equal to 0 and let's divide each term by cos u so x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to 0 so the term which we have to prove x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to 0 we got it using the Euler's theorem.